everyone, this is Amy Joy Kito, Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant. This video is about undeclared family sponsorship. What is undeclared family members? When someone applies for permanent residence, all their family members must be declared and for most also need to be examined. This means they must have criminal and security checks and a medical exam. Immigration Canada needs this information to make sure their family members don't make them ineligible for permanent residence. If an applicant for permanent residence did not provide his or her family information, those were the undeclared family members. Currently, the consequences for failing to have a non-accompanying family member examined is a lifetime bar on being able to sponsor that family member. This regulation is as per paragraphs 11790 and 1251 of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Regulations. These regulations were put in place to encourage full disclosure by immigration applicants to enhance the overall integrity of family class immigration and to protect the health and safety and security of Canadians. Who is undeclared family members? The family members who were not declared on the permanent residence application of the applicant or before they became permanent residents. Who is a family member? Spouse, common law partner, dependent child, dependent child of a dependent child or the grandchild. Why is the declaration of the family members is necessary? Under the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act, all family members must be declared. There are no exceptions. With few exceptions, all dependents must be examined as part of the process for acquiring permanent residence. Both the principal applicant and the principal applicant's dependents, whether accompanying or not, must meet the requirements of the legislation. If family members were not declared, they are not part of the family class. If they are not part of the family class, they will not be eligible for family sponsorship in the future. Can I sponsor undeclared family members? Currently, the Government of Canada introduced a two-year pilot project on September 9, 2019. Under this project, if you meet specific criteria, you may sponsor your undeclared family members. Who can sponsor undeclared family members under this pilot program? You may sponsor undeclared family member only if you applied for immigration to Canada under one of the following programs. A sponsorship for spouses or common law partners outside Canada or inside Canada, refugee claims inside Canada, resettlement of refugees from outside Canada, a dependent family member of an inside Canada or a resettled refugee. The sponsor must also meet the other requirements to be a sponsor. Applicants should be 18 years of age or older, be a Canadian citizen, registered Indian or permanent resident, live in Canada, sign an undertaking promising to provide for the basic requirements of the person being sponsored, and others. Who is not eligible for this pilot program? You may not sponsor any of the following undeclared family members under this pilot program. Economic category such as Federal Skilled Worker, Canadian Experience Class, Federal Skilled Trades, Startup Business Class, 
Self-Employed Persons Class, Quebec Economic Classes, Provincial Nominees, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Programs, Caregiver Classes, Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Programs, and Agri-Food Pilot. After being sponsored in the family class, other than a spouse, partner, or child, in the permit holder class, as an applicant in Canada based on humanitarian and compassionate grounds, the family member could make you inadmissible to Canada when you initially immigrate to Canada, or you didn't declare the family member because their declarations disqualified you to immigrate to Canada. What if you don't qualify to sponsor undeclared family members under this pilot program? If you don't qualify for the pilot project, you could still apply under humanitarian and compassionate considerations under Article 25 and Article 25.1. This application provides the flexibility to grant permanent resident status or a permanent resident visa to a certain foreign nationals who would otherwise not qualify in any class, in cases in which there are compelling HNC grounds. When submitting an HNC application, the applicant should justify and provide supporting documents as to why the application should be processed with HNC consideration. There is a way to sponsor undeclared family members. Each case is unique and applicants should be carefully examined and prepared their application. With this type of immigration application, you should consider asking for professional assistance who has knowledge and success application for undeclared family members sponsorship. At IMI Canada, we already have a lot of success applicants under the undeclared family sponsorship. They are already here in Canada, reunited with their family members. Please contact us for more information. For more information or consultation, please contact us at 514-574-2480. Our email address is info at emigcanada.com. Our website is www.emigcanada.com. That's it for this video. Please stay safe and see you next time.